In this video I'm going to explain how you can make perfect loops in Blender. You can make a loop based off of rotation, location or scale, also known as an infinite zoom. I'll show you all three. Feel free to skip ahead to the infinite zoom if you already know how to make the first two. First off rotation. This one is simple since you only have to make sure the camera stops in the same position it started. Let's parent the camera to an empty pivot point. Put a rotation keyframe on the first frame and the keyframe rotated 360 degrees on frame after the last frame. Why one frame after? Because otherwise the loop will contain a starting frame twice, at the first and last frame. We don't want this. Next up we have to go into the graph editor. This is because the interpolation between frames is east in and out. But we want it to be linear. Now it will move at a constant speed. Our first loop is done. Now we'll move on to the location loop. Here the end position is not equal to the start position, but one step further in the chain we are going to create. We are going to make an array with an interval of 5 units. Place the camera wherever you like. The trick now is to place the camera after the final frame one link further in the array where we chose an interval of 5 units. Again, we need to set the movement to linear, and we're already done. Next up, an infinite zoom. This one is much harder to pull off, because the movement is not linear, and will need some math, but I'll make it simple for you. First, let's create an array with an empty set as the object offset. We are going to scale this empty by 0.5 and move it up. Then add an empty for the camera to be parented to. Place it at the point the array is approaching. In our case, y equals 3. Parent the camera and make a scaling keyframe on the first frame. I'm also going to set the end point on 100 to make the math easier. Now the math. An infinite zoom cannot be linear because then you'd actually hit the point you should be approaching infinitely. The formula for scaling is pretty simple since you don't have to apply it on every keyframe. Just once every few frames and you won't see a difference. Let's apply the scaling in 10 steps. We have 100 frames so we have to apply it every 10 frames. If the scaling in the array, in our case 0.5, is x, and we want to scale our loop in 10 steps, the formula for our scale we want to apply every 10 frames is x to the power of 1 divided by 10. So 0.5 to the power of 0.1. Our answer is around 0.933. What is this number? This is the number we have to scale our empty by every 10 frames. Because 0.933 to the power of 10 is 0.5, which is our array scaling. So after 100 frames the scale will have become 0.5. Now that we have figured out this number, we can scale the empty by 0.933 every 10 frames. Again I set the interpolation to linear, so the loop actually slows down at 10 occasions. I don't think anyone will notice as long as you do it gradually in a few steps, like we did in 10 steps. You can now make perfect loops.